This video will cover basic maintenance procedures for the Febco Model 850 Double Check and 860 Reduced Pressure Assemblies, sizes 1 half inch through 2 inch. Refer to the Febco Maintenance Manual for the Model 850 and 860 for complete maintenance procedures, parts breakdowns, and troubleshooting guides. The following are some general service procedures. Febco models 850 and 860 can be serviced with commonly available tools and are designed for ease of maintenance. The assemblies are designed to be serviced in line, so the unit should not need to be removed from the line during servicing. No special tools are required. The most common cause of check fouling and relief valve discharge is dirt and debris in the seating area. The line should be flushed clean of debris before installation of the assembly. To flush the line after installation of the assembly, slowly close the inlet shutoff valve, remove the cover, and check modules of both check valves and open the inlet shutoff valve to allow sufficient flow of water through the assembly to clear all sand and debris, etc., from the line. If debris in the water continues to cause fouling, a strainer may be installed upstream of the assembly. Check local codes. Rinse all parts with clean water before reassembly. Carefully inspect diaphragms, seals, and seating surfaces for damage or debris. Use caution to avoid damaging any guiding surfaces while handling parts. Do not force parts together. Test the unit after servicing in accordance with the locally approved test methods to ensure proper operation. Refer to the Febco Maintenance Manual for Model 850 and 860s for complete instructions on how to service and repair your unit. The following procedures will show check valve disassembly. Slowly close the inlet and outlet ball valves. Bleed residual pressure by opening the number two test cock. Open number three test cock. And open number four test cock. Allow the test cock to remain open until the reassembly is completed. Test cock number one should remain closed. Remove the cover bolts using the appropriate size wrench. Remove the spacer by grasping the flanged end of the spacer and pulling straight up. Remove the inlet check assembly by pulling it in the direction of flow out from the body bore until it is completely exposed, then lift out of the body. Remove the outlet check assembly by placing the tip of a medium-sized flat-nosed screwdriver in the slot of the seat and prying the check assembly back until the red O-ring is exposed. Then using your fingers, pull it out from the body bore until it's completely exposed. Then lift out of the body. The Model 850 and 860 are designed for ease of maintenance. To service the checks, you may replace and check modules with new ones by using check module replacement kits available from Febco. Simply discard the old check modules and insert the new ones. Or you may replace the rubber components in the check modules using replacement rubber parts kits available from Febco. The following procedure will show the rubber part replacement procedures for the check module seal replacement. Both first and second check modules are disassembled and reassembled in the same manner. To disassemble, grasp the seat section in one hand and the guide section in the other hand. Then, rotate in a counterclockwise direction approximately one-eighth turn until the two parts disengage. Remove the retaining screw and disc retainer so the rubber disc is fully exposed. Carefully pry out the rubber disc from the poppet. Be careful not to damage the poppet when removing the rubber disc. Rinse the poppet in clean water. Replace the old rubber disc with a new rubber disc. If the rubber disc is not damaged, it can be reversed and reinstalled when a new disc is not available. Rinse all other internal components with clean water. The following procedure will show the check module reassembly. Replace the disc retainer and secure with a retaining screw. Reassemble the check assembly by grasping the seat section in one hand and the guide section in the other hand. Insert the poppet stem into the guide hole. Keeping fingers clear of the slots in the module, press together and rotate in a clockwise direction, approximately one-eighth turn until the two parts engage. Be sure parts fully engage. Inspect the check module O-ring for damage and replace if necessary. Apply a thin coating of food-grade petroleum jelly supplied by Febco in the repair kit to the O-ring prior to installing in the body. Use caution when applying lubricant. Excess lubricant may cause foreign debris to collect on internal components, which could foul the check assembly and result in a test failure. 
On the module 860 reduced pressure assembly, the first check module and the second check modules are not interchangeable. Make sure the check assembly with the heavy duty spring is inserted into the inlet bore of the body, first check position. The check assembly with the weaker spring must be installed in the outlet bore of the body, second check position. Be sure that the check modules are installed facing the proper direction. The word inlet is inscribed on the end of each module. That end of the module should face the inlet of the valve. Insert the second check module into the valve body first. It has the lighter spring. Make sure the word inlet on the module is facing the inlet of the valve. Insert the first check module next. It has the heavier spring. Make sure the word inlet on the module is facing the inlet of the valve. When placing the spacer between the two check assemblies, be sure that the flanged end of the spacer is touching the back side of the inlet check assembly so that the cover will fit properly. Replace the cover, making sure the number three test cock is on the upstream side. Do not over tighten the cover bolts. Approximately 35 inch pounds is sufficient. After reassembly, close test cocks number two, number three, and number four. Test cock number one should already be closed. Slowly open the inlet ball valve, then bleed off air from the unit by opening test cock number two and close. Open number three and close. And open number four and close. During the bleeding process, the relief valve may discharge a high volume of water until all test cocks have been closed and pressure has been stabilized. Check for external leaks and repair if necessary. Slowly open the outlet ball valve to return the valve to service. Test the assembly in accordance with the locally approved test methods. The following section will cover the repair of the relief valve for the model 860 reduced pressure assembly, sizes one half inch to two inch. Discharge from the relief valve assembly does not indicate a relief valve failure. The relief valve will discharge water when the mainline check valves become fouled with debris. Refer to the troubleshooting guide in the maintenance manual for more information before disassembling the relief valve. Before disassembly of the relief valve, slowly close the inlet and outlet ball valves. Bleed residual pressure by opening the number two test cock and close. Open the number three test cock and close. And open the number four test cock and close. Test cock number one should remain closed. Loosen the brass cylinder in the center of the relief valve cover by unscrewing one quarter turn counterclockwise. Remove the relief valve cover bolts and relief valve cover. The internal relief valve assembly module will be attached to the relief valve cover. Unscrew the brass cylinder and remove the cover. A relief valve internal sub-assembly repair kit is available, which allows you to replace the entire relief valve internal module without disassembling it into components. This allows for quick and easy repair of the relief valve. Or you may disassemble the relief valve components and replace the rubber parts using the rubber parts kit available from Febco. Grasp the outer diameter of the large outer diaphragm and pull away from the cover until the small diaphragm comes out through the relief valve cover hole and is completely separated from the relief valve cover. Discard the old internal relief valve assembly. Remove the plastic slip rings and discard. Slide out the seat ring and seat ring gasket from the relief valve body and discard the gasket. The following information covers the reassembly of the relief valve for the Febco model 860, one half inch to two inch. Apply a thin film of food grade petroleum jelly supplied in the repair kit to both sides of the new seat ring gasket and slide it on the short end of the new seat ring. Slide the short end of the new seat ring into the hole of the relief valve body. The adhesion from the grease will hold the seat ring in place during the rest of the assembly process. Before installing the new internal relief valve assembly module, apply a thin coating of food grade petroleum jelly supplied in the repair kit to both sides of the slip ring and insert it into the top of the relief valve cover. Install the new internal relief valve assembly module by grasping the outside of the outer diaphragm in one hand and the smaller diaphragm in the other hand. Then pull upward gently on the small diaphragm so that it forms the shape of a tulip. Hold the small diaphragm so that it maintains this tulip shape while sliding it through the relief valve hole and plastic diaphragm gasket. 
Apply a thin coating of food grade petroleum jelly to both sides of the slip ring and place it over the top of the small diaphragm, making sure the diaphragm is not folded or creased under the slip ring. Push the slip ring down flat until the adhesion from the grease holds the small diaphragm in place. Thread the brass cylinder into the relief valve cover and hand tighten. Replace the O-ring in the relief valve cover. Make sure the round bead on the large diaphragm is properly seated in the counterbore of the relief valve cover. Position the assembly so the O-ring aligns with the sensing hole in the body and the guide slides into the seat ring. Position the spring over the seat ring in the relief valve body and hold in place while inserting the guide end of the relief valve assembly module and relief valve cover. Replace the relief valve cover bolts and tighten to approximately 35 inch pounds. Do not over tighten. Tighten the brass cylinder in the relief valve cover to approximately 30 feet pounds of torque. Do not over tighten. After reassembly, with all test cocks closed, slowly open the inlet ball valve. Bleed the air from the unit by opening test cock number two and close. Open number three and close. Open number four and close. During the bleeding process, the relief valve may discharge a high volume of water until all test cocks have been closed and pressure has been stabilized. Check for external leaks and repair as necessary. Slowly open the outlet ball valve. Test the assembly in accordance with the locally approved test method. For further information about maintenance procedures on the Febco model 850 and 860 one half inch to two inch backflow preventers, refer to the maintenance manual provided by Febco.